All right, guys. Finally, we are going to start our class today. Uh, we will take a start with IELTS listening module, and you have to be active and alert. I'll give you tips, techniques, and all that. I prepared this test very well. This uh, morning, actually, I spent two hours on this test, cutting the audios and looking at the language and the sentences they use here and all that. Now, let's just take a start. The test which we are going to do, there is a variety of questions there. Uh, we've got one word only in part one. In part two, we have double multiple choice, single multiple choice. Then we have matching type of questions, right? Uh, the first thing is you should be familiar with each type of questions. Now, how to be familiar? For example, if you come to know about matching, so you should know what is matching and what should be your action plan. Action plan is very important. For example, you are doing part four, IELTS listening part four, and there you know that whatever is written before the blank or after the blank, that is more important. So I have to look for the synonyms and all that. So action plan means how to do a certain type of questions that is really important, right? So if you are familiar, I mean in IELTS listening as well as in IELTS reading, nothing should be new for you. New means you say, I don't know this type of questions, right? Number one, familiar, you should be familiar. And number two, your action plan. Action plan means how to do that question type, whether you need to read the questions or the options and all that. Now, let's take a start. Listening part one, section one. Now, actually, they don't call it section. Now, they call it part. Two years ago, they used to call it section one, section two and all that. But now they have changed this thing, so they call it actually part, right? So this is uh, listening part one. Write one word and or a number for each answer. So one word and or a number. Now you should be clear. I have noticed one thing. Sometimes students find the right answers, but they become wrong. Why wrong? I mean, if the answer is like uh, cat, they write a cat or they write the cat, okay? Or sometimes they write the word which is written before, they write it again. So due to these careless mistakes, your two to three answers are usually wrong. And sometimes one right answer is enough to make it seven, or if that answer is wrong, it will be 6.5, right? And EOR will not help you with reading and with listening as well. So please, no careless mistakes and no spelling mistakes as well, right? Because of spelling, now you found the answer, because of your own spelling mistake, it's wrong, so it's going to be again a pity for you. Now, let's take a start in listening, as I mentioned, your imagination will help you a lot. Your imagination means your visualization, how you actually visualize. So let's see, one word only, early learning child care center. Now, I want you to imagine chote chote balungre, Bacche, nanne munne bacche, right? Because it is early learning child care center enrollment form. Okay, so we understand early learning is more like uh, kindergarten. Jape chote chote bacche ko chhod diya jata hai, chhod nahi chhod nahi diya jata. Like they learn and all that, right? So I mean, if your imagination is on, agar aapke dimag mein bhi chote chote nanne munne achhe achhe bacche aa rahe hain, gande gande bhi chalenge, right? So you can understand the things better. And if over here, they are talking about early learning child, child uh, care center and you are thinking about your food or what you're going to do tomorrow, then you will not be able to pay attention. Listening is very important or listening mein jhatke aram se lag jate. Jhatka kya lagta hai? You are just, your ears are there, but suddenly you realize you don't understand. You're not processing. So in order to be into the audio, you should visualize everything. Let's do one, one experiment. Just imagine a beautiful white cat. Beautiful white cat. A beautiful white cat with red eyes. And now that white cat with red eyes is walking on a black carpet. Can you imagine that? Yeah? Okay. So like this, you need to imagine everything when you're doing IELTS listening. Now we go on. Example is also removed. Uh, one thing I tell you, when you guys start your listening test, it is very important 
when they start the audio like Cambridge Oils, ESOL examination and this and that, you will hear a number of different recordings and you will have the chance to read the question and check your answer. All the recordings will be played once only, blah, blah, blah. Don't listen to that. That audio continues for half minute. So you will spend that half minute reading the questions. In the audio, when they say section one, you have already read section one, right? And you can do one more thing. Like when they start with this Cambridge IELTS, this and that, this audio, I today I checked, it continues for half minute. So you can go on to section four and take a look at some questions, underline some important words, or you can go to section three, or you can quickly take a review of the test so that you know what is going to come ahead, right? You'll be familiar with that. Uh, by the time they say section one, then you can come back to section one. So this technique will help you because sometimes you are reading the questions and then the audio starts. So uh, let's go on. You can see example is given. Now they have removed the example. Now audio will start directly without any example. Uh, personal details. That is the first one. What is the second heading? Child care information, very good. What is the third heading? Fees. Fees, that's right, very good. Now, in personal details, child's name is mentioned already, Kate, and age is going to be the answer you're going to find in the audio. Now, let me tell you in part one, what do they do in other simple words or Urdu, we say, wo aapke saath karenge. right? Like you say, ji, ye bottle kitne ki hai? De de Right? right? So age may be Like we can they can say that your child must be five. No, she's only three and a half. So you should understand that. You should understand that. You right? So age is the question. Now they may talk about, actually, you know, we are talking about early learning child care center. Tell me any ideal age for that. Tukka to lagao bhai. Two years, three years. And you see, Bala no sutte hai, two saal da hi bacha jama kara de ho, haan? Under five, very good. Five, two, and keep in mind, answer should be one word and or a number Ab focus kare apne test pe i play the audio and you got to find the answer you will hear a conversation between the director of a child care center and a parent enrolling her child in the center good morning welcome to the early learning child care center how may i help you hi i spoke to you last week about enrolling my daughter for next year oh yes i'll just get some details from you so you're her mother that's right and can i have your name it's Carol. Carol Smith. And your daughter's name? It's Kate. Now, we have several groups at the centre and we cater for children from three to five years old. How old is your daughter? She's three now, but she turns four next month. I'll put four down because that's how old she'll be when she starts. Fine. Very good. She's three now, but she'll turn four next month. So she's going to be four. The right answer is... Four. And whenever in IELTS listening or IELTS reading there is a number, write the digit. You don't need to write F O U R. Okay, just write four as a number. Alright, two ni ayaha, mazra chatons ke liye. Agli dafa mein audio do wali bana ke launga. Just kidding. Alright, let's go on. Address dash road. What does that mean? Very simple. Name of the road. Okay, so they are going to tell like road. Tokanyazbek Rogue, Bodawala Chalk Road, or any other thing like that. Okay, but it's going to be English name, right? Band Road. Band Road, exactly. All right. Ring Road, very good. And then they said Woodside and 4032. All right, let's go on. She's so excited about her birthday and coming to the center. Oh, that's good to hear. And what's your address? It's 46 Wombat Road. That's W O M. B A T Woodside 4032. And what's the phone number? Oh, it's 3345 9865. 
So, only wombat is wrong answer. Absolutely. They said that in the audio, right? 46 wombat root. And sometimes, you know what happens when the answer is gone? Then you realize, kuch hua hai. <laughs> kuch hua hai zarur. So, you should be active and alert. Aap meri taraf dekh rahe te. Ke mainne gusse chika ke thalle lekh vi kush haan. Why are you looking at me? So, you should be active and alert. I'm playing this from the beginning. Please listen. She's so excited about her birthday and coming to the centre. Oh, that's good to hear. And what's your address? It's 46 Wombat Road. That's W-O-M-B-A-T. Woodside, 4-O. Okay, so 46 Wombat. W-O-M-B-A-T. Now, 46 is a number and Wombat is a word. So, word plus number. Is that clear to everyone? Good. Let's go on. Uh, now, the next topic is child care information. Days enrolled for Monday and dash. So, answer is going to be a day, day of the week. But again, at khelia, chalakia, or in simple words, you say mashtandia. Huh? That's what they do with us, okay? What are they going to do? They're going to say, at the moment, we've got the available days, Monday and Tuesdays. And the lady says, oh, on Tuesday, I'm always quite busy. I cannot come. What about Friday? Oh, yes, we've got an option. So, Monday and Friday. What will be the answer? Friday. So, the final thing is always the answer. Tiko kya? Jo bhi final kare na, wo answer hoka. I play the audio now. So, have you decided on the days you would like to bring your daughter here? I prefer Monday and Wednesday if possible. Hmm, I'll check. Monday's fine, but I think... I think the centre is already full for Wednesday. Uh, yes. Sorry, it seems to be a very popular day. We can offer you a Thursday or a Friday as well. Oh dear. I suppose Thursday would be alright because she has swimming on Friday. Okay, got that. I suppose Thursday will be alright because she has swimming on Friday. Yeah, two will jandi like that, okay? So swimming is that. What is the answer? Thursday with correct spelling T-H-U-R-S-D-A-Y Thursday Is that clear? Yes. And those who do not understand They will write Friday also And then they will be very confident Mere sare answer sahi hai. You understand what's the thing actually They see whether you identify right information from wrong or not Let's go on Start time A.M. What will be that? 8, 9, 10, 11, whatever the time is. And again, there can be a yeah. trap. Exactly. Very good. Let's start. Because a lot of parents work, we do offer flexible start and finish times. We're open from 7.30 in the morning until 6 o'clock at night. What time would you like your daughter to start? I need to get to work in the city by 9, so I'll drop her off at 8.30. Mm -hmm. You're pretty close to the city here, so that should give me plenty of time to get there. That's fine. No. Very good. You are wrong. Okay. All right, listen again. 8.30 is the right answer. But you know, I mean, there's a lot of things. I just play it again. Because a lot of parents work, we do offer flexible start and finish times. We're open from 7.30 in the morning until 6 o'clock at night. Now, we are open at 7.30 until 6 o'clock, but that's not the time. That's their time, right? They said start time for their child. What time would you like your daughter to start? I need to get to work in the city by 9. I need to get to work in the city by 9. She has to get to work. So, what time do you want your daughter to start, okay? So, I'll drop her off at 8.30. Mm -hmm. I'll drop her off at 8.30, which is the answer. Now, 9 and 7.30 and all that. See that? Yes, sir. They just tell you a lot of traps. Now, let's go on. Question number 5. Child care group, the dash group. The dash group, it's the name of the group. Very simple. Excellent. And again, they will confuse you by telling you four or five other names. Right? Let's put her in that group. No, but that is for senior children. So I think for her, this group is better and all that. Let's go on. 
Now, we also need to decide which group she'll be in. We have two different groups and they're divided up according to age. There's the green group, which is for three to four year olds, and then there's the red group, which is for four to five year olds. She's quite mature for her age and she can already write her name and read a little. Well, I'll put her in the red group and we can always change her to the green one if there are any problems. That sounds fine. So? Okay. No green. No one? All right, excellent. Red is the right answer. Group is already mentioned. In IELTS listening, don't be emotional. Emotional means minu answer lab gaya. Group bhi saati lik diya. If you write group because it's already written, your answer will be wrong. wrong answer. Very good. Okay, question number nine. Which meals are, sorry, six. Question number six. Which meals are required each day? Now, they will talk about their, how many meals are there? Three meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Now, the question is, which meals are required each day? When you go to school, which meal is required? Okay, but again, let's see. They will talk about dinner also. They will talk about breakfast as well. But you have to see which meal is required, right? Let's go on. Let's move on to meals. We can provide breakfast, lunch and dinner. As she's finishing pretty early, she won't need dinner. Will you give her breakfast before she comes? Yes, she'll only need lunch. She'll only need. Okay, so she'll only need lunch. Answer is lunch very simple question number seven medical conditions okay any medical conditions okay, usko koi medical problem to nahi hai, right? Dore te nahi pende, something like that okay all right needs dash now there is something that the little child needs uh, imagine kar rahe hai na choti si bachchi uska naam kya hai nahi, cat nahi hai cat hai all right yeah aap kahin ji cat winslet bhi to cat ki tarah hi hai na to fir ek hi baat hui na <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Have to be Khair, prani baat hogi. Anyways, so question seven is she needs something, and that is medical requirement. Maybe some medicine or some other stuff like that. Now, does she have any medical conditions we need to know about? Does she have asthma or any hearing problems, for example? No, but she does need to wear glasses. Oh, I'll make a note of that. Yeah, she's pretty good about wearing them. She can't see much without them. Right. Okay. So she needs to wear glasses. glasses. Asthma is not the answer, right? Because she said no. So the answer is glasses. glasses. And it will be plural. If you write glass, wrong answer. Because glass is different thing and glasses is different one. Okay, now we've got question number eight. Emergency contact. Jenny. Jenny likhava. Jinnini likhava. Okay, so Jenny is first name. Last name is missing, they will tell us. If the name is unusual, they will spell it for us. Good, very good. Now, I also need emergency contact details. So, what sort of information do you need? Uh, just the name and number of a friend or family member we can contact in case we can't get hold of you at any time. Okay. That'd better be my sister, Jenny Ball. Uh -huh. That's B A L L. Her phone number is three three four six seven five two three. Great. So, check the name Jenny Ball, Jenny Gaind, Jenny Football. Okay. <laughs> All right. So B A W -L, L. That is actually the answer. Okay, on your answer sheet, you will just write B A W -L, L Ball. And if you're taking, okay, I'll, I'll tell you separately about it. Question number nine, relationship to child. Now, who is Jenny Ball to that child? How do you know? Okay, okay, yeah. Clever, huh? That's intelligent. Once you know what happened, I was stopped by a traffic warden. Right? I did not violate anything. I don't know why he stopped me. He stopped me and he said, your driver's license and all that. I said, I've got everything. I am teacher, English teacher. Oh, he said, oh, sir, we respect teachers quite a lot. Translate one sentence into English and then you can go. <laughs> he said that. And I said, okay, tell me what is that sentence? He said, wo aapka kya lagta hai? 
and I, I said, what is he to you? He said, sir, you are really a teacher. Please, you go. <laughs> right? So, <laughs> okay. Relationship to child. Question number nine. Let's see. So, she is the child's aunt? Yes, that's right. I'll make a note of that as well. All right. She is child's aunt. Okay, now how do you spell aunt? A-N-T. Good, exactly. And remember, word auntie is not English. Yeah, they say auntie or auntie. Auntie kithe chaleo. So it should be aunt, A-U-N-T. Yeah, not the kiri one. Yeah, sometimes aunts are like that also, but not here. Last one, fee. Will pay each. Who said that? Kali Zabanala. You are absolutely right. Okay, so will pay each. Now see that there is no amount. If there is amount, they use currency sign. Yes, but there is no currency sign. And they use the word each. So it can be each week, each each day is not possible. Fees Okay, kal fees Each week or each month or each semester, each quarter, right? Each year, like that. So let's see. Question number 10, please. Now, is there anything you'd like to ask? What about payment? How much are the fees each term? Well, for two days and the hours you've chosen, that will be $450 altogether. Okay, and do I have to pay that now? No, we send out invoices once the children start at the centre. You can choose to pay at the end of each term or we do offer a slightly discounted rate if you pay every month. Oh, I'll do that then. I find it easier to budget that way and I'm not used to the term dates just yet. Good. It makes it a lot simpler for us as well. No, not month. Exactly. The right answer is month. But I'll play it again. They use the word each term also. But term is not the right. But the lady said I can budget it well. So like that. Please listen again. Now, is there anything you'd like to ask? What about payment? How much are the fees each term? Well, for two days and the hours you've chosen, that will be $450 altogether. Okay, and do I have to pay that now? No, we send out invoices once the children start at the centre. You can choose to pay at the end of each term or we do offer a slightly discounted rate if you pay every month. Oh, I'll do that then. I'll do that then. If you decide to pay every month. So every month is each month. And I'll do that then. So that is the answer. Okay. 